Sidney Crosby had another scary crash into the boards last night, just one game after he returned to the ice following another concussion. Today, we chatted with neurosurgeon and concussion expert Nee Lang Ja about what parents with children in sports need to know. It's the worst thing to see your child get struck. People describe it as the big hit where you black out. You say no, that's not necessarily the case. How do you know if your child has had a concussion? What are the symptoms? It's a good question. 90% of uh, concussions have no loss of consciousness. Um, so that's not a good metric. Uh, invariably, almost all concussions have normal CAT scans and MRIs as well. Um, so if there's any symptoms that the child has, headache, dizziness, sensitivity to light, sound, so on and so forth, it's best to sit out when in doubt and seek medical attention. Immediately? Immediately. But you know, nowadays, the emergency room's getting more education, family doctors are getting more education. The most important thing to do is to see somebody who has experience in the area of concussions and is able to identify when it's safe to return to play and school. Uh, you know, historically, we used to put people in a dark room for 10 days. Now we know that's not the right way to manage concussions. Okay. If you take a 15-year-old girl, I'll have a mother come in and say, well, Dr. Jai did the right thing. I took away her iPhone. She's not allowed to go on social media, and she hasn't gone to school. And then I see the daughter, and she has a lot of anxiety because she's not connecting with her friends. She's not on Snapchat. She's not on Twitter. So the right thing to do is moderate levels of cognitive and physical activity, gently get them back in motion again, and that's where we see the best recovery. So are you supposed to keep your kids off the ice or whatever the field it is that they're playing out of school? Yeah, you should not return to any type of contact sport if you're still symptomatic. Once your symptoms have resolved, you've been tested appropriately, cognitive and physically, it's okay initially to return to practice. Then we see how do they do with exertion, just like Crosby did. Once they're cleared after exertion, then under the right circumstances, they can return to game playing.